Hey everyone, here's a question. Find the common factors of 56 and 120. Now factors are nothing but the uh, the, uh, the number which can completely divide 56. Or uh, in other words, we can say that in which all table 56 goes, all those numbers will become factors of 56. Similarly like for the 120. Now there are many ways of finding out the factors. The simple way is, now since this number has like small number, 56 is less than 100. So we're going to find out up to 10 tables if this number goes or not. Okay. So let's find out the first factors of 56 and then we're going to find out the factors of 120. And then later we're going to find out the common factors. Now we know that every number goes in one table. So 1 into 56 is equal to 56. Then 56 is an even number, so it should go in two table. But uh, what is a multiple? So here, it will just if you don't know, you just multiply this with, uh, not multiply, divide this with 2. So 2 2 is a 4. And then we get 1 as a remainder. Drop this 6. So 2 8 is a 16. So which means 2 into 28 is 56. So 2 multiplied by 28 is equal to 56. Similarly, check for 3. It doesn't go in 3 tables, so I'm not checking it. And next we have a 4. It goes in a 4 table. Again, if you don't know it wi by which number you have to multiply, divide 56 by 4. So 4 ones are 4. 1 is a remainder. Drop the 6. So 4 4s are 16. So we got here 14 4s is equal to 56. So 4 into 14 is equal to 56. The next number is 5, it doesn't go in 5 table, neither in 6 table, it goes in 7 table. So again, uh, we know that 7 8s is 56, right? 7 8s are 56. Now 8 7s is also 56, but I'm not writing because the, it's, the both are same. 7 8s and 8 7s are the same, so I'm not writing it. Now after 8, it doesn't go in 9 table, it doesn't go in 10 table, it, it directly goes in 56, but 56 ones are, or 1 into 56, the both are same, we have written it, so I'm not writing it down. So the factors of 56 will become 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 14, 28 and 56. Now this method is going to be applicable like the one uh, which I have done. If the number is smaller than 100, it is applicable. If the number is slightly bigger, like we have a 120, we can still try out, uh, it, like it, it's not completely applicable, bec uh, but you can still try out the same method like which I have done for 56. Now so let's try for the 120 now, the same way have we, have, we have done for 56. So 1 into 120 is 120. Now 120 is a even number, so it should go into table. So 2 6 is 12, right? So 2 6 are will be 120. It's very simple. We know that 2 6 is 12 and we have a 0. So 2 6 is 120. The next we have a 3. It goes in 3 table. 3 4 is 12. So 3 4 is a will be 120. Next 4 table. 4 uh, 3 is a 12. So 4 30 is a 120. Next the number ends with 5. So it should go in 5 table. So 5 24 is 120. Now in case if it doesn't know, then you again divide this. Divide 120 by 5. So 5 2 is 10. 2 is a remainder. Drop the 0. So 5 4 is 20. So 5 into 24 will gonna give you 120. The next we have a 6. So 6 2 is 12. So 6 into 20 is equal to 120. It doesn't go in 7 table nor in 8 table. Uh, uh, then we can check this in 8 table because 120 is a even number the chances that it can go in 8 table so 120 divided by 8 let's just write out so 8 ones are 8 4 is a remainder right so drop the 0 so 8 5 is 40 so 15 8 or 8 into 15 is 120 we can write this down so 8 15 120 Next is 9. It doesn't go in 9 table. The next is 10. So 10 12 is 120. Right? So that's it. I guess we have covered. After 11, it doesn't go in 11 table. It goes in 12 table. 12 10s and 120. But since we have written 10 12s are 120, they both are same. Now let's write down the factors here. If you see the factors of 56, here we got 1, 2, Four, write in all this number 1, 2, 4, 7. Then we got 8. Then we got 14, 
128 and 56 similarly we go write down the factors of uh, 120 it's like 1 2 we, we have uh, so many factors here so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then we have 8 then we have a 10 I'm going in the sequence 8 10 and I'm going to start with here 12 then 15 after 15 we have a 20 and then 24 then 30 then 40 60 and last 120 now we have to find out the one which are present in both so one is present in both so one is a common factor here the next two is a common factor and next four is a common factor it should be present in both four is a common factor then we have a eight eight is a common factor now after eight we don't have any other number which is present in both so one two four and eight are the common factors of 56 and 120 so let me conclude here therefore one two four eight are the common factors of 56 and 120 so i hope it's clear how to find out the common factors now in case you have a further question or doubt you can drop a comment i'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching